Hey guys, it's on Mika again, and I just wanted to do another. What? <laughs> Strange things are happening. I just wanted to do another quick update for you all um, regarding Spawn Town. I have lots of things in my inventory. Um, I actually just went on to on another exped expedition with. With Draco Mage, we went to find some uh, glowstone, and we found some. He took a lot of it. Um, we also found another fortress really close to my house, which is awesome. Um, not that close, but it's close enough, and um, it hasn't been ravaged by anyone. So, uh, yeah, I I'm happy about that. It was. It was successful. I got shot at by a bunch of ghasts and I died a few times <laughs> to the blazes. I was recording it all, but I will probably not be uploading it because it was embarrassing the amount of times I died. Um, anyway, so on to Spawn Town update. So um, this area remains largely unchanged, I guess, um, aside from me trying to work on the wall a little bit. Mm, as I have mentioned, the wall is going to go around the gardens. And I've been having some mm, mind changing about how I want the walls. And also, I, I wanted to accommodate as many of the ideas as possible. So um, somebody had an idea, I think it was Fairy Juice, to turn this into a sawmill because it was right next to the wood factory. Um, so I walled off this bit and decided that, you know, this is where I was going to build my um uh build my wall and this bit would be sawmill but then somebody else had said that sawmills are generally on on the harbor so anyway i i decided i would just make a decision and i've walled it in it would i'll take this wall down too this is ubula's rose i made a little shrine for it because it was pretty um, I've been categorizing everything. Oh yeah, this is the inside of the wall. Ca I categorized um, the chests that were laid out here. Uh, this will extend out this way a bit further and all the way there. I think that I actually did mention this in the, a previous video. Um, also today, very recently, I commissioned Methy um, upon Lowe's suggestion. Oh, yeah, Spawn City is actually full of mobs. I think that we're probably not lighting up enough or something, something like that. So this will be an inn, bed and breakfast, um, hotel, what have you. Um, we've also had fairy juice working tirelessly on the road system. Um, and... Uh, and that's a very important work, of course, because um, when we know where the roads are going to be, we know where the plots are going to be. And when we know where the plots are going to be, that's where the s uh, the buildings are going to be. Um, I I was just over here with with Fairy Juice discussing how the road is going to connect to this road over here. Over that way, this is where people will enter spawn city from from the spawn um and yeah just trying to decide how to connect up here and we came to the conclusion that we'll put in a plaza um just a big open space very similar to market the market square um and then we can build arches and make it all pretty and everything because it'll it will be the the first thing that newcomers see um and then we'll connect it up to the road here and yeah um, they have to go through industrial area first but all of that area will be entertainment and tourism and then 
on on the other side of entertainment on that side is commercial um i'll show you some of the other builds that have gone up so the, the road is is coming along um oh i mentioned in a previous video that this this will be all garden um as well as this side of it okay now a majority of the work so this inside here is going to be garden um, a majority of the work that's been completed over the last completed or worked on in the last week or so has been here in the market square um, this brick thing is the market square uh, generally a place for people to meet and uh, we'll, we'll get people to come in and make little stalls nothing too big just small small make shack, shack type or makeshift stalls um, we'll have a path from market square going out to agricultural agricultural hasn't changed much um, since the last update um, so I won't go there today um, we have these roads go around here and we're trying to set up some plots so that people can um, can start doing some work but this has actually just happened in the last few days um, we have Zarin's Zarin Tower my render distance is quite bad and of course it doesn't help that I'm recording but it's, it's a very tall building I think it brushes height limit but it's a very nice looking building it says Zarin on the side so we never forget what the tower is called and who built it um, but yes Zarin has worked very hard on that building um, originally it was over there but it was sticking out a bit much so it's been moved here um, I think that I will let him do a tour of it. It's not quite finished, but yes, of course he he built this waterfall thing also. Um, and yeah, I think it he's supposed uh, he, he said that it it's um, modeled after Stark, the Stark Industries building from Iron Man, the movie. Um, but it looks really nice. I'm not sure what's happening over there. It's very nice. And this is a safe drop fountain feature. And over here, we have Jutland has built a... He's building a hotel. Um, and what he has said is that it will be modeled, loosely modeled on that building. Um, it's coming along quite well. The post office over here has undergone a few revisions and re-revisions. Um, originally, it was a nice looking um, house that Epsilon made. Um, while it did look very nice, it didn't quite match how we wanted it. Oh, people have actually started putting mailboxes in <laughs> good well so anyway this building the function of this building is for people to come and leave mail for other people and I and en <laughs> I envision that it will come into a lot of use once um, once books come out and we can write letters to each other um, what else do we have here? I think over here is the meeting point. I think as of yet unclaimed, but we're starting, we're trying to put in some more plots, uh, so that people can make buildings. And I'll show you the, the, the notice boards that I've put up in town hall. I've showed them in a previous, um, LP episode, but I also wanted to, um, show them on this on on this video since it is pertinent to spawn city there's a mushroom here i thought that low killed him but i'm glad that he didn't um 
I'll collect him later. We're missing a few mushrooms. Um, I just wanted to come over to this side. Way out on the outskirts of Spawn City. Excuse me while I munch noisily on my pumpkin. Pumpkin? Melons? I need to get some more food. But anyway, um, over here, Jutland said, can I make a gallows? And I'll, we we had some discussion about where a gallows would fit into the scheme of things. And um, yeah, and he came here and he made a gallows. Here it is. It's out in the, out, all the way out here. And then we've got the swamp on this side, which we figured it would fit in with the with the somber theme, so we're going to have Jetland also build a... Wow, this is actually fully functional. You can die here. Is there anything here? Nope. Good. <laughs> um, build a graveyard and a jail in that area. Um, and over here... We will head into the commercial sector district or whatnot. Yeah, there's a lot of creeper holes around. I think we should probably start lighting this up. And I don't have enough, nearly enough torches, but oh, there's just constant, f constant mob fighting. Well, us fighting mobs over here. Um, just I think just because. We're covering so much land, and um, and the mobs are just spawning, and it's not lit up. So yeah, okay. So over here, um, this is the sign that I put up. The commercial district and Gallows is going to go that way. Uh, the road is going this way. Um, Platinum has expressed interest in building a boutique, a shop. Um, and I gave him this plot. Um, sadly, I put it in the wrong spot and it needed to be moved. So I'm going to give Platinum a new plot. Um, also, I've started putting down some plots for more commercial district buildings. So this says Main Road Boutique 20 by 20. So this is a 20 by 20 plot and it's right on the main road or what I, what I imagine will be the main road. Um, our our arena is over there and I just wanted to have a quick show over here. I'm not sure if uh, if I've ever shown in a different video the area around the arena but um, there <laughs> it was like a very pockmarked very difficult to navigate um, landscape around the arena and um, Draco Mage has kindly smoothed it all out. He is a wonder. He is a wonder. And um, looks all nice now. So I'm, I'm happy. Uh, and think, well, it was Lo that asked him to do that. So I think Lo would be happy too. And um, over here, I've started assigning plots to people even though we don't really have any roads that go out here yet and we don't we don't have any roads to line them up with yet but i figure the commercial district it it won't be too big of a thing um the roads can meander a little bit but lo is here he's building a space needle which if i understand correctly it is a um very tall tower with a restaurant at the top of it and um yep he's he's been planning that out and he's very keen to have that done here um and the other thing that i wanted to show you out here in the commercial district is uh, garden's cannon um we <laughs> he was messing around with with the cannon to build um, 
sorry, with a cannon to put people in and then you can get shot into space. Um, I believe he has uploaded a video about it. Um, and I will link that in the description. But anyway, he said, can I build a cannon? And I said, yep. Um, the cannon's already built. Um, I put it near the water. I don't know if that's going to help much. But this looks like creepers have been at it. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've tested this cannon. Not this one myself. Not this particular one. But there was one that we were playing around with before. Um, is he coming? Hey! Oh god. Oh. What happened? Is he coming? Hey guy. <coughs> Yay. Ender Pearl. So yeah. So that shoots you into space and then you can see Spawn City. Um, and then one more thing before I conclude the tour, or the update, um, and that is the, the message board system that I have put up. Alright, so, here we have my message board system. Um, the ideas board is for posting new ideas, um, and once we approve them, then they'll move into the planned or future builds. Um, nothing new since the last video that I made with this in it. But uh, uh, anyway, I will put here any builds that we want people to work on. Um, Plotnix Foundry, Meeting Point, Fairy Booze, um, Rebuilding the Spawn, um, the place that ac people actually spawn into. Um, I've, I've also added these. These are not projects, they're just odd jobs, but restock Spawn City with food because I have one lonely melon and I hate eating melons. Um, restock Spawn City with Ender Pearls. Um, yeah, we have, we have so many Ender Pearls and, uh, it'd be good to have them all out here. I'll probably do that myself too. Um, MC Donald's, which was an idea that we had quite a while back. Um, commercial district boutiques, um, our ongoing projects, and also the entertainment district plaza, which I mentioned before. And I may do that as well. I did the market, market square, which really is not that big of a thing. It's just putting down blocks. <laughs> and then over here, once people decide that they want to work on something, then I'll move it here. I am going to extend this out. <laughs> Because so far, we, we, we have a lot of things happening and uh, not much space here. But so I've got Jetland Hotel assigning plots. Oh, Epsilon has, is claiming Michael's statue. Awesome. Oh, cool. So he's actually taking that off. Good job, Epsilon. Draco Mage Landscaping, Saren Tower. Space Needle, Gallows, JL Cemetery. I think I can probably... No, I'll leave that. Um, town Hall Rebuild, because there's a big hole in it. I'm not sure if Flake is going to work on that, but I'll have to talk with Lo and see um, what's happening with it. Platt is making a redstone shop. Fairy Juice is on working on the roads. I'm working on the Town Hall Gardens, which I will eventually finish. Um, the power plant is being built by Dylan Joyce and Birdman Nom. Um, and Gowden is working on the subway. I forgot to show the subway. I'll go over there and show it. And Harbor. Oh, and Jutland Duck has raised his hand for working on the Christina Aguilera disco, which I have told him I will probably put near Low Space Needle because then that would be like where all the nightlife is. <laughs> um, completed projects, foundry. Windmill, post office, the cannon, wood factory. So these are completed projects, and um, this board tells you what projects have been completed and who completed them. <laughs> so, and I will show you the subway. We we do intend to have a very fancy subway system. Um, 
it's it's becoming very apparent that Spawn City is going to be very a very large place and uh, while it's nice to be able to just walk everywhere sometimes you want to travel by a faster means of communi- faster means of <laughs> of communication of uh of travel <laughs> sometimes you want to travel by a faster means of travel <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's what this has been set up for, um, and Gowden is working on this, but it's looking actually pretty good. I, I really like this, this wood and wood pattern. I think that white wood, white, light wood, actually is very pleasing to the eye. Um, but yeah, so, very nice. This is, this will be the post office stop. I guess. Um, and I guess that's about everything new that we have in Spawn City. Um, a lot of progress. We have a lot of people that are um, that work very hard. That's a that's a really nice building. It looks really good from far away as well. And uh, it looks good. The, the, it looks good on the inside too. So. I commend you, Zern, uh, and the hotel as well. This is looking really nice too. It while it follows the theme, it also has its own theme. <laughs> I think this is the only thing that makes it look different. I mean, makes it look similar to that. Oh, Birdman is here. Hi. So anyway, thank you for joining me for the Spawn Town update um, number two. And when we have some more progress made, then I will post another video and keep you guys informed on what's happening here. And I think it's just interesting also to see how much progress is happening, like from not having much at all to having all these buildings built and sometimes they go up very fast um, so yeah I, I mean I'm sure that there are people on the server that still don't don't know what's happening out here just because the amount of work that's being done here is is going at a very rapid pace um, but yeah anyway I, as I s as I said earlier, I really need to work, actually, I really need to work on my closing. But yeah. thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.